Along with the tyres, Formula One fuel is something of a black art. It's incredibly important, but few understand it, including me. When I started in the sport in the 1990s, crazy additives gave an extra 100 horsepower and the fumes made your eyes water. Now it's all different. The fuel is based on road car petrol with biofuel content and tightly controlled parameters of what can be added and limits as to how much. But the right blend of legal additives can still make an engine give more power. And on a recent visit to the Shell Research Center in Cheshire, I got the chance to try my hand at blending fuel to find out how it works. Okay, so we've got some specification limits here. This is actually based on the 2010 FIA regulations. It's all olefins, aromatics, and oxygenates. We are trying to make a blend of the V-Power fuel that Shell provides to Ferrari, which will give us over 720 horsepower, but doesn't bust the all-important FIA limits. Having designed the fuel on the computer, we then blend it. It's like mixing a cocktail recipe. So it says 122. Is I'm putting 122 in here, am I? Each fuel has a fingerprint, and once it's been specified, every sample taken by the FIA at race weekends has to match it, or the car will be disqualified. It's early stages for me in learning how Formula One fuels work, but at least now we understand how important the right blend is. Give it to Master Alonso and the rest of toast. <laughs> <laughs>